Hey crafters, in this video I will show you how to set your document properties in Inkscape. The reason you would do this is when you open a new document in Inkscape and you immediately start designing without changing anything to do with the document properties, when you then save and upload into Cricut you will notice that the sizing is completely off. So let me demonstrate what I mean and then I will show you how we fix this. Here I have a new blank document when you first open Inkscape and hit new document this is the screen you see let's draw a square and set the sizes in inches to be exactly five by five so now I will save I'll just save it on my desktop as scale test one and now let's open Cricut Design Space and upload this image So upload, browse, find it on your desktop, scale test one, open and save. So let's insert it to our canvas. And here you see the problem. This started as a five by five inch square in Inkscape, but it's now a completely different size in Design Space. But we can fix this. Let's go back to Inkscape and I'm just going to delete this square and we will go to File, Document Properties. And the first thing to do is to change display units to inches and change inches down here as well. And so do this bit first and then I usually set my custom size to be 12 by 12 as this is the size of the mat that we use on the Cricut Maker and the Explore. So it just helps me to have an idea of how big my project is. And then the magic number you need is here in scale, put 72. Now I know this seems totally random, but this is indeed the number you need to get a one-to-one -one scaling between Inkscape and Cricut Design Space. So Inkscape is actually updating your settings as you do this. You don't have to hit save anywhere, just click X to come out. So you can see our page is now a 12 by 12 page. And let's create a square to do a quick test. So again, I'm going to change this to be five by five exactly. And this time I will save it as scale test two. So now let's go to design space and upload. Save and insert. And there you have it. You can see it is exactly five by five inches compared to this random 1.764 that we had before we changed our document settings. One thing I want to show you guys is that now that we have fixed the document properties in this file, any project we design here and upload to Cricut will be at the correct scaling. But if we close Inkscape, reopen a new document, our document settings have not actually been saved. So to demonstrate, let's do File, New. And so here you can see our new document and it has gone back to the default settings for a new document. It doesn't have that 12 by 12 document size and the scaling won't be correct either. You can fix this, just follow along step by step. It does involve going into kind of the back end, but don't worry, just follow the steps. You'll only ever have to do this once. I'm definitely not a coder and I managed to make this work. So I'm confident that you can too. So the first thing is go and change your document properties as we did the first time. Inches, inches, 12 by 12, scale 72. Okay, and now I'm going to save this on my desktop and I'm going to call it default. So make sure you give it this name and make sure the spelling is correct because that's important as well. Now find Inkscape in your finder and right click to click show package contents. Then click on contents, now resources share 
Inkscape and here templates. I'm just going to change my view to list. So you can see there are all sorts of default templates in the back end of Inkscape. And the one that it will open every time you open up Inkscape is the one that is simply called default.svg. So that's this one. So we want to replace the document we just made with this. So what we'll do, let's rename this to be old default. And the reason I would say rename and don't delete it is just in case something goes wrong, all you do is you come back into this folder and change the name of this old default back to default and you'll go back to how your Inkscape was when you first downloaded it. So now from our desktop, let's find that default SVG file, drag it in. And you can see it there. So what I'm going to do now is, well in fact it's already updated, you don't have to close Inkscape and come back out, but to show you Again, let's do a new document. And you can see it has set the properties to a 12 by 12 inch document with a scaling that will give us a one to one ratio between Inkscape and Design Space. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments what topics do you want me to cover next. And until the next video, happy crafting!